This mod review is brought to you by the Farmer Klein YouTube channel. Please like, subscribe, and comment. So guys, today I've got a massive trailer and, well, attachment pack uh, over at ModdingWealth.com. It is the Flegal BPT pack. Um, the BPT stands for Bale, Pallet, and Transport Pack. And, oh my goodness. This isn't even the whole pack, because I just realized, after I took the screenshot, that I forgot the IT module um, that is available in this pack. But we've got a whole boatload of different trailers, and a interesting three-point tipper um, flatbed option. We've got also uh, various combinations of bale and pallet modules, or um, forks here, and a set of dollies single axle and a double axle so let's go ahead and just take a look at these things in the shop uh, before we look at some of these in a little bit more detail so if we go to tools and we go over here we've got a whole new category for this the flegal bpt pack for bale pallet and transport pack again this can be found over at modding welt.com and it's going to take a little while to work through all of these because take a look we've got two small trailers single and double axle we've got a single and double axle dolly we've got a semi fifth wheel trailer we've got the it runner module which i forgot about we've got a pool trailer we've got two dolly trailers single axle and a single and a double on the rear a little longer trailer and then we move into the three-point hitch and front loader connections. We've got, a rent, or we've got this one here, which is a three-point. Uh, this one is a front loader. Another three-point connection. Another three-point connection. And another front loader connection. And then we have a three-point tipper or flatbed. Oh my gosh, this pack is huge. Let's go ahead and take a look at the EDK40 trailer. $9,850 to buy, $502 to lease, $98 per day, $206 per operating hour. So this trailer is perfect for small tractors or pickup trucks, things like that, small vehicles. So we've got one dolly or one trailer in the back. We do have a choice of rim color and a choice of design color. And then a choice on our main color, okay? And we can choose Trelleberg, and we've got several Trelleberg tires. Defaults to the 380R15s. We can go to the 340ADR18s, which has kind of a, a tire tread pattern to it. The 380-55R17s, 480-45R17s, a bit wider, or back to the 380R15s. So we go over to Nokia and we have the 250-80R16 or the 340-80R18 version. We can get a little strip edge. It puts a little metal edge here on the flatbed, a little bit of a lip. It can help hold the bales or pallets on. And we can also get this in auto load or non-auto load function. Pretty handy there. Uh, we can get mud guards on this trailer or without. And we can go standard capacity, which is in this format right here, to square bales and pallets. Gives us these vertical rails or <laughs> vertical racks on the front and back. Foldable sides. Straight structure big. Go back to standard. There you go. Those are the options for the EKD40. Let's go ahead and get one just to show you. Then we have the TKS80, which is a slightly bigger version of the other trailer. It's got two, two axles on the back. Again, with the same tire options on all of these trailers. So we don't really need to run through. Sorry about the cough there. Uh, so we don't need to run through all of these uh, wheel options yet again. Once again, we can change the rim color. 
go for something just a little outlandish. We can go to the main color and we can go to our design color. That is atrocious. At any rate, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and get this one with auto load. Again, we can change mud guards or not. Capacity standard. We've got square bales of pallets, foldable sides, big structure rack, and back to standard once again. And let's take a look at the price. I think I skipped that. It's twelve thousand two hundred and fifty dollars to buy, six hundred and twenty-four dollars to lease, one twenty-two per day, and two fifty-seven per operating hour for the standard default configuration. Now we go to the single axle dolly, $8,500 to buy, $433 to lease, $85 per day, $178 per operating hour. And let's compare that to the um, in-game dolly of $9,000. Okay, so it's a little bit cheaper than the in-game dolly. We can change the main color on this, should we so wish. And the rim color, again, should we so desire. And we have a choice of Lizard or Trelleberg tires on that. Let's go one with Trelleberg tires. And then we have the double axle dolly trailer. Go with Lizard or Trelleberg tires once again. Once again, we can change the main color, and we can change the rim color, should we so desire. Go ahead and get one of those. Again, the base price is $8,500 on this, $433 to lease, $85 per day, and $178 per operating hour. Now let's take a look at the semi-trailer. Semi-trailer brings us a few additional configuration options. Again, the same tire options. Oh, no, sorry, we don't have the same tire options. We've got Trelleberg Standard or Steering Axle. And then we have Lizard. We have Lizard Standard or Steering Axle. Oh, my God, sorry about that. Then we have Trelleberg Standard or Steering Axle. Uh, we can go Easy Load on this one. And for capacity, we can change this to Round Bales. So we get the little sides there we can go to round bales big we go up one more layer so we could put you know a second layer on there we could go to square bales or pallets we go with foldable sides timber so now we can go and basically use this as a flatbed or we can convert this over to um, do timber and then back to standard which is the traditional flatbed now, I will tell you that if you do auto load and timber, it is not a log auto loading trailer. Uh, the auto load script is for <coughs> pallets, bales, and egg crates. Um, so it is not for uh, logs. So again, we can change the main color. Whatever we should so uh, desire. That is just atrocious. So let's go ahead and pick that. And let's move on to the next one, which is the IT Runner flatbed module. Change the main color. Should we so wish? We can enable this for easy load, yes or no. We can add the little stripping edge to the side. See that get added there. And we can go capacity, and once again we have round bales. Round bales big. Square bales. Timber. Or back to standard go ahead and get one of these and i may have forgotten to talk about the price on this nineteen thousand nine hundred dollars for base one thousand and fourteen to lease 199 per day and 417 per hour nine thousand dollars for the it runner trailer 459 to lease 90 per day and 189 per operating hour now we move over to the towed trailer dual axle on the back change the rim color we can change the main color and we can change the design color the design color is the front pitch part and tongue and we've got the main deck and then we've got our rims 
Once again, we have our standard choices of tires here between Trelleberg and Nokian. We can add a little stripping edge to this. And we can go here and we can do under run protection. So it puts those little side plates on, yes or no. Get it with the Flegel logo, should we so wish. And again, we have round bales. Round bales big. Square bales are pallets. Foldable sides are timber. When we do go with timber, we do get the front rack on there also. Let's just go with... Oh, we haven't gotten one of those in that configuration yet. And again, the base price for this is $16,750. $854 to lease. $167 per day. And $351 per operating hour. Now, we've got the Dolly trailer in a single axle variant, $13,900 to buy, $708 to lease, $139 per day, and $291 per operating hour. Once again, we have our choice of rim colors and main color. We have our standard options in tires that we've seen for this whole pack, our stripping edge, auto load, under run protection, and we can go timber, foldable sides, square bales with pallets, round bales big, or round bales once again. Go ahead and get one of these. Then we'll move on to the DPW 180. So it is a longer trailer and has two axles in the back. Once again, same set of tires that we've had in this whole pack as far as trailers go. We have our round bales, round bales big. Square bales and pallets, foldable sides, and timber. And we've got the underrun protection once again. And we can put a strip edge on there. Change our main color, and we can change the rim color to whatever we want. Let me get one of those. And let's talk about the base price on this. $17,900, $912 to lease, $179 per day, and $375 per operating hour. Now we move over to the implements. This is a three-point, it's not a three-point, this is a front-loader implement. Wait, this is, this is either a front-loader or a three-point implement. Take a look at that. So we can change the design color, which changes the hydraulic cylinder here and the main color. And interesting enough, it still has that galvanized look to it. It's pretty cool. And we can change this to round bale fork type, bale spike, or pallet forks. Now there is a little bit, looks like there's a little bit of issue here where we're missing some language information. That's why we have the dollar sign shop item front loader forks okay go ahead and get one of those and let's take a look at the base price one thousand one hundred fifty dollars fifty eight dollars to lease eleven dollars per day and twenty four dollars per operating hour now this one has a little bit of a trick up its sleeve because it does have that hydraulic cylinder well, that's right these will open and close you can make them wider or narrower now we've got the front loader um, bail spikes, combi duplex it's called, $1,300 to buy, $66 to lease, $13 per day, and $27 per operating hour. We do have configuration options of four forks or six forks, and once again we can change the design color, make the spikes red or gray, and we can change the main color to whatever we want, and again it is still that cool looking galvanized texture and we'll go to a three-point hitch bale spike all we can do here is change the color $450 or well $250 base price $12 to lease $2 per day and $5 per operating hour then we have the roll type bale fork and this one looks kind of interesting it looks like there's some type of release 
and then this will just open up and the bale will just kind of flop out. Uh, it's a three point connection. Change the main color. And we can change the design color. There you go. And that is pretty much all we can do for it. $590 is the base price. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what the lease is. $30 per day, $5 per hour, and $12 per operating hour. And just two more to go in this pack. And then we're going to take a little closer look at each of them. We've got our design color, which is the forks. We've got the main color, which is, well, I really don't know. In fact, I don't think the main color on this particular one is working. But at any rate, uh, we can change this fork spacing. Now, these don't move, but we can change the spacing when we buy it. We can go narrow, go with 40 centimeter spacing, 60, 80, 100, or 120 centimeter spacing, all the way out to 140 centimeter spacing. Once again, the base price on this is $800, $40 to lease, $8 per day, and $16 per operating hour. And then the final one that we're going to take a look at today is a three-point hitch, and it looks like it also has a front loader connection. Uh, it looks like it holds two bales, and we can get it in the bale loading wagon version or the tipper version, and the tipper version comes with a capacity of 1,800 liters or 2200 liters change the design color and then we can change the main color should we so wish now let's get it in well let's get this one in the bale version because we already have one in the other look base price is $4,100 per day $41 $4,100 per day $209 to lease $41 per day and $86 per operating hour. And now take a look at this pack. We've got the deck. We've got the forks. We're going to take a look at that one. A little closer detail. And then we've got our, our short trailers. Our single and double axle trailer here. We've got our single and double axle dolly. We've got our pink and black um, semi trailer. We've got our IT runner trailer. We've got our pull behind trailer here. We've got the single axle dolly trailer. We've got the double axle dolly trailer. All of these have hose hookups, by the way. Oh, that's interesting. We've got the uh, the movable bale spikes here, or pallet spikes, that we could also configure with square or round bale spikes. We've got the just conventional bale fork here, and then we've got a three-point hitch fork here as well. Let's go ahead and come on over here, and while we've got the fent here, let's see here, I moved, let's just see, can we hook this up? But we can hook this up with our front loader, or three-point, take a look at that, that is pretty slick. Oops. Wrong button. If we pull up the F1 menu, you can see that we do have the choice to go straps. There's our tension straps. And we did have an auto load, I think, on this. Now, I didn't get the auto load. We did have the auto load function there. We have tip side back, tip side left, or right. So let's go ahead over here where I can actually tip this. And just see what the animation looks like. Roll I. There, so there's the tip front. So that would be if we were in the um, the tipper version, and we can change it to tip side left. There we go. And then we can change it to tip side right. Whichever works for you.
Now let's go over here and take a look at another one of these implements. Oops. I was going to look at that one. Uh, we'll just go ahead and look at this one here that moves. So we can. It is somehow. It's somehow stuck to the ground. There we go. Are we free? Now we're free. Some weird collision going on right there at the store. I wouldn't blame the, uh, I wouldn't blame the mod. I would blame the store. All right, so as you can see with this one, we are connected with the front loader, and we can left right click, and go left and right, and we can move those forks in and out. Pretty cool. Now we can unhook those. Oops. We can unhook those and we can even hook them up to our three point and basically do the same thing left and right with the right mouse button. We'll open and close those forks. And then the rear one is pretty much just static. And we can raise and lower it. It's good for transporting bales around and whatnot. All right, what we're going to do is see if we can't. Oh, we don't want to run our tires over that. Well, this particular one is just a front loader I mean it's just a fork doesn't do anything special it's no controls but uh, this pack can easily basically become the only trailer and uh, attachment pack yep. the fork handling pack uh, if you should so wish Let's see here this is just three point And this one's front loader. Let's go ahead and do it this way. So this particular one, we could change in the store the spacing of the forks, but we couldn't change the um, we can't change the spacing after the fact. And it looks like there's a slight defect here where the tips of the uh, forks are not in the right position. So I'm sure that'll get fixed. Sure got missed because, uh, well, it's easy to miss things like that. Let's go ahead and hook up this and hit X to unfold it. And you can see the animation there. It's pretty cool. You can see the lever moves forward and then the forks tip forward to unload the bale. Get this out of the way. Drop this out of the way. And we're just going to hook up real quick and take a look at all of these trailers because some of these we did and didn't get with auto load. See the hoses hook up. And we say unfold. DPW 180 so we can get a little extension length on there if we unfold it, it slides out you can see we do have straps now something that I wished when this pack was out in 17 um, is I wish that there were straps on this extension deck uh, when we extended it out but uh, there aren't any but it would be nice if these if this strap if there were one more strap point out here on the extension deck that would be that would be really cool in my opinion
Do the same thing with this trailer. It has an extension deck. Once again, it has straps, but not on the back of that. Now, some of these trailers, I'm seeing a left mouse click and K and M to open and close a flap. I'm not really sure what it's opening and closing. Maybe we'll figure that out. I couldn't figure it out in the uh, the testing over there either. Again, we can extend the deck on this one. We have straps. Obviously, won't be testing the IT runner module because I just didn't uh, I didn't put in the IT runner pack. So. Both of these dollies also have a movable fifth wheel. You can see that moving here with the left mouse button. Move that up and down or forward and back a little bit. I move it forward and back. You can see the trailer is moving there. Now, unfold so I can extend the back on the semi trailer also. Once again, we have straps. Now, what I haven't figured out is it says that these sides are foldable, but I haven't figured out how to fold them. I mean, if I come up here to the outside of it, I don't get any type of uh, option to unfold the trailer. If I look here, I don't have... Unfold is basically the back end extending. So I'm not sure what's going on there. Uh, but somebody know how to... Know, if someone knows how to unfold those, let me know in the comments. Uh, but you can see this one has auto load and Z. We can change from pallets to large square bales, 1.3 meter round bales, mission pallets, egg boxes, cotton modules, and we're back to pallets. Oh, come on. That's what I wanted to do. And then we're back to just these two small trailers. Took this up. And if we right click and go up and down, you can see we can adjust the height of the tongue. That's convenient uh, if we want to, like here. See, the, the bed is not quite level, so we can just lower that and get it to ride a bit more level. Right about there. I know with the truck I had to basically lower the tongue all the way down. Uh, once again we can unfold it. Now with this one we have a bit of a ramp. So we could we could drive up on this uh, with a small implement. If we wanted to we can X and it basically folds it back up underneath. We do have straps on here. And we have pallets, large square bales, 1.3 meter round bales, mission pallets, and egg boxes. Uh, no cotton modules for these little trailers. And let's go ahead and just hook up a small trailer with the pickup truck here. Just to show you that this works out really well with this truck, in my opinion. So guys, this mod can be found over at ModdingWealth.com and let me show you something when you go there. So there I can raise it up and now it's, see when it's all the way down it's really, really, you know, tilted forward. But if I raise it up, now it's fairly flat and looks pretty good. If I left click, again I've got the open flap, closed flap, not really sure what's going on with that. If I hit X, I unfold out a little ramp out the back. The ramp almost looks like it's too long for this trailer. Like a little magic happens. Somehow we hide a longer ramp in the shorter trailer there. All of these do have lights. 
also, of course. And they all have rear hitches, so you could uh, chain these together if you wanted. So, like, for example, we could come over here and hook this up to one of these other trailers. And we have pass-through power and hose hookups. Also, looks like one of the hoses. I'm not sure why one of the hoses isn't attaching there, but at any rate. Let's see if we got that. Now, I do want to check one more thing. And that is, let's get this small trailer in foldable sides. And this won't stick. All right, so let's get it in foldable sides and see if those options change at that point. There we go. Okay. There we are. J in there we got the sides folding down now. Back up. Alright, well that answers that question, doesn't it? So let me show you guys, when you go to this site, okay, to download, click on download, you're going to go to uploaded, just click Close out whatever pops up. Let it count down. No big deal. And then you click the I am not a robot. And then it just starts to download. Close this once it starts. And it's going to take a little bit of time because we are free. Never buy anything from Uploaded. Never pay them a dime of money. Uh, just, just take your time. It's no big deal. Won't take too terrible long to download it. Check, I am not a robot, and there you go, download has started. So guys, let me know in the comments, what do you think of this mod? Oh my gosh, this is a massive pack, isn't it? All kinds of stuff going on here. Uh, you can see the log variant there. There is uh, there is a 2100 capacity variant of of that one. This is a massive pack, and it's not that big file size wise. So until next time, happy farming.